Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. It's four to four o'clock on Sunday, guys, and it's Sunday fun day, but it's not Italian Sunday fun day. I'm not making anything Italian today. I'm gonna make chicken marsal. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm making a rova pasta or rice. I might do rice because I don't think I have enough of the sauce for pasta. I might, but I'm not really sure yet. So let me let's get going and um, we'll see what we have. Um, I didn't plan on making this today, um, and so um, I didn't have any mushrooms for this particular meal, but I have two things of these for uh, Thanksgiving, and I'm not going to use all these mushrooms. So either if I need more, I can always go to the store and buy more anyway, you know, before Thanksgiving. But I'm only going to use like three or four of these. So, um, yeah, so it'll be fine. So I can use these. Um, I didn't, I only have one... Um, marsala marsala wine in there and i also but i also have a sherry wine and i also have a red uh not a red wine um well yeah it's like a red wine it's not vinegar but it's like a red wine that i could put in it but i don't want to do that because that'll really change the flavor i think the sherry will go fine with this um so i have one marsala one sherry and i also have some white wine um in the refrigerator that i can use Um, white cooking wine. Let me just look in here and make sure that I don't have any other. Sometimes I don't know what I have in here. That's basting oil. Basting. No. All right, but that's fine. And then um, I always add a little bit of bouillon, um, a little bit of bouillon to my. Um, sauce you know to my sauce with some water and everything you know to make chicken broth so um that's fine so i think it should be it should be okay so um what i gotta do is i gotta um i have to want you know just wipe down some um mushrooms that i have here like i showed you i'm gonna shut this off because i think there's a little bit of a glare there i think that's better lower just a little bit so what i what I do is, you never put um, mushrooms under the water. You just wipe them down. These are huge, look at these. And um, so I'm gonna take the biggest ones out of here and use those because um, like this to me, I mean, mushrooms shrink anyway, so it will shrink when I do make my stuffed mushrooms, but um, I don't want the hugest ones. I want the, the smallest, I wanna take the, um, keep the smallest ones but that's okay all right so we'll do one i don't know i'll do as many as i want because um we like mushrooms in the marsala that's you know so what you do is you take a, a, a like a damp cloth and you just these aren't that bad these aren't that dirty um just wipe the the dirt off of it i'm not a crazy lady with them if there's a tiny bit of dirt we're not gonna die from it Believe me, I'm sure we've eaten dirt before and everything else, and we're alive, so I'm not really worried about it. But I just don't want it, you know. I want it to be clean, you know. Um, I used to watch Rachel Ray, and she used to always say, "Oh, what's a little, what's a little dirt? You can eat a little bit of dirt." My hair looks like I put my finger in a um in a in a light socket today after I got out of the shower. Um, I didn't put my little, um, my moisturizer, my spray on my, uh, my gel on it. So it's a little frizzy, but it is what it is. I went to worship this morning, guys. I went to church, to my, to my church and it was beautiful and it was lovely and I loved it. Um, uh, my sister picked me up. She called me, texted me yesterday. She's like, you want me to pick you up for church? I'm like, yes, please. Because I always want to go every Sunday and I never get there. I always end up watching it online. It's just so much better to be there. It's such a different experience. So we did that. We stopped and got a coffee because we were early. And then my other sister met us there. So it was the three sisters today at church. Which was nice. So... Still struggling a little bit. I didn't get my medicine yet. I got to get it tomorrow. Um, I'm still struggling a little bit with motivation and just 
I don't know, guys. I'm just nothing is giving me joy. Like a, not nothing. It's just it's it's hard to find it. It's hard. It's not coming easy. It's it's a little bit of a struggle still. And so I just hope the med other medicine, the added on medicine, helps me because it's no fun when you don't feel yourself. It really is no fun, and it really does take a lot of the joy and the the fun out of what I enjoyed to do. You know, this, honestly, this was a struggle coming on. And even cooking is a struggle right now. And when you know, when, when cooking's a struggle for me, I know something's, you know, something's not right because I usually have motivation to cook. And and I love it and enjoy that. And I procrast I've been bring, procrastinating about everything. And, you know, Thanksgiving is Thursday. So whether I like it or not, I have to get on the ball. <laughs> I have to get on the chopping ball tomorrow and get moving otherwise we're not going to be eating much for thanksgiving <laughs> so yeah so you know i'm just trying to struggle through it but it's okay you know i'm i'm happy for the breath that i have and i'm thankful that i'm that i'm alive and basically in good health and just you know can do the things that i want to do and mostly and and all that so i am very grateful um, I am going to put some onions in this, but very, very, um, I'm not going to put that many big, and I'm not going to, they're not going to be big. They're going to be very kind of small. All right, I'm going to leave this here because I might do more than one. Um, so let me get, I mean, more than, more than what I have there. Um, because, you know, mushrooms, one thing about mushrooms is that they shrivel up. They shrivel up and they disappear and it's like you think you had... It's just like spinach. You think you had all that, two, uh, a big bag of spinach and you go to, you know, and then the spinach just like disappears. That's what it is. So that's what mushrooms are. So I might use more mushrooms. And like I said, if I do, it's not a big deal. I can go and get more mushrooms. My, the food store is 10 minutes from my house, so I'm not worried. All right. Need a sharp knife. All right, guys. Cutting this up. Comment down below if you like raw mushrooms. I love raw mushrooms. Frankie and Jenny hate mushrooms. Raw, cooked. Alright, we'll see how much this looks like. If it doesn't, if it's not enough, probably won't be because I'm eating it. <laughs> I'll need more. I'll cut more. I can't believe it's Thanksgiving almost, guys. Where did the year go, huh? I 
down to now. It's been a crazy year. I gotta flour the um, the chicken, but I'll do that right before I put it in the pan. I might just make rice. I think I'm gonna make rice. Julie wanted pasta, but I don't think pasta is gonna be feasible. So everybody will survive it, right? get the garlic like I said I'm not doing an enormous amount of onion just to um, flavor the sauce with it really some garlic. You gotta have a lot of garlic. It's one of those days that holy crap. Ah. Garlic so we still quick go over everywhere. You you cut it garlic and it goes flying over the counter. chopper if you want. I don't have a mini one anymore because it broke. And I have a big one now. Um, it's beautiful. And um, I used it one time so far. Did I use it one time? Yeah. And I love it and I'm going to be using it a lot this holiday season. For little things, I don't like to pull the... It's right there on my counter. It's not like it's in the other room, so... It wouldn't be a big deal if I... If I really didn't want to chop, I would do that. Because that's what it's for. And I love it. I'm grateful and very thankful for it, so...
Okay, so what I'm going to do is, after, I, when I start uh, flowering the, um, the chicken and start frying it up, um, I think what I'm going to do is do the, I'm trying to think, I'm going to do the mushrooms and the garlic um, first. Okay, and then I'll flour up the chicken and do that at the end, you know, do that last. Just gonna do a couple more. Plenty. All right, so that's done. What I'll do is while this is cooking up, I'll maybe I'll start um, flouring the chicken. Let's just see. Let's get this going here. So. butter because I like to use butter and olive oil with this meal. Where's the butter? The butter, the butter, the butter. When I um when I fry up the um the um chicken I use um mainly butter because that's what that's how I make it. So here is, I will use olive oil and butter for the mushrooms and onions and garlic and um, so, but like I said, when I do the chicken, I mainly use butter. here in upstate New York today, but, um, thank God the snow, mostly, most of the snow melted. My husband didn't get out, didn't get a chance to get out to the, um, to the yard before the snowstorm came, and that was like an early, that was like an early unexpected snowstorm, and, um, you know, our gazebo that we had up this year was just like the path, the plastic wasn't anything great or anything just to have a nice one for the summer and um so we um we had it up and uh didn't expect this storm that we had and the whole thing tumbled over the whole thing my my swing the top of my swing broke and and all of that so we're gonna you know in a couple of days he's gonna go down and to go and take everything down and thank god my table's okay because that was that's a really really good expensive table that my kids had gotten me a couple of years ago during COVID, um, so that, it looks like the table's okay, but the swing, I think the top of it is broken, so I might need a, a new, a new canopy part, you know, but that's it, so, yeah, yeah, so that happened, and the snow was so heavy that it, um, it just really just destroyed the whole thing, all right. So, I told everybody that I was going to discuss, well, not everybody, somebody asked me, you know, a couple of people I mentioned when I said I was, I was out there shoveling, why am I shoveling, why, why aren't my adult kids helping and all that, and I said that, that I would explain. Now, the thing is, is now, the thing is that I don't have to explain anything about my family to anybody, but because people ask me, and they're, you know, concerned, whatever, and that's fine, and that's okay, 
And like I said, I care about my, my subscribers and, and all of that. And I want to be as truthful as I can or, you know, whatever. Um, my kids weren't here and I had to do it because my husband was working too. He, nobody was home. Um, Frankie couldn't do it for certain reasons uh, that I can't, that um, he couldn't do it. Let's, let's just say that. So um, I just I just did it myself, and it was very little or whatever. And the thing is, is like people say, like people say, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. You you know you have adult children. I do have adult adults that live in my house. You know, um, one my Julie's married, and 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 Frankie's thirty two, and Jennifer is not here. She's she lives in a group home. And she's thirty five, whatever. And but everybody also has their own lives too, like. Bill and I have our own life. We're a couple. Darren and Julie are a couple. And we all do things around the house because they always say, a lot of people say, oh, I never see them doing anything. First of all, they don't want to be on camera, number one. Number two, they do stuff behind the scenes. They're not in the, they're not in the videos. I don't do videos of them sweeping or them doing the dishes or them taking the garbage out. You know what I mean? You guys don't see any of that. So just know that they are helpful and they do help. Maybe not as much as I would like them to, you know, kids, even though they're adults, they still have to be told certain things. But, yes, they are here for us, and they do help. They contribute in every way. So just know that, guys. And if I choose to go out and shovel a little walkway, that's my decision. I'm a 58 year, almost 59-year-old adult, and I make my own decisions. So thank you for your, your concern and your caring, and I really do appreciate it. But So, so that's the story. I just wanted to let everybody know that, whoever was, you know, whoever was asking. All right, so this is going to stay on high. I think I might put a couple, well, I don't know, the mushrooms look all right for now. Like I said, they're going to really shrink up. They're going to shrink up. So. You know, people say, oh, you do all the shopping, you do all the cooking, you do. That's because, first of all, they help with, you know, putting away. A lot of times me and Julie go shopping together, too, and all that. But regardless, guys, that the, the stuff that I do in my house, I choose to do. I choose if that's what I want to do. I'm the, you know, I this is what I like to do, and, and I enjoy it, and it's, you know, whatever. So it's not, nobody's forcing me to do anything. My husband's a big help, and my kids... You know, they contribute. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so I'm going to put this on the higher flame. Let this saute a little bit with the garlic and the onions. Um, I'm going to see. I might put, I have a couple mushrooms left in here. I might just do one or two more. Because like I said, I'm always looking for the mushrooms. Oh, I love mushrooms. I can't relate to anybody who doesn't like mushrooms. A lot of people don't. Like I said, my son doesn't like mushrooms. Like Jenny doesn't like mushrooms. Frankie doesn't like the texture. I love the texture. Oof. I love them. But everybody has different tastes, buddy, you know? mushrooms I put in here and it, it, like it dwindles down and one thing about mushrooms if you want them to caramelize and just get a little bit crispy you don't put salt on them right away because salt brings out the brings out the um the condensation brings out the the moisture and then they get a little soggy so um, that's why I put them on a really high flame because I want them to get a little bit brown before I before I put any like you know juices like you know sauces in them or anything because I want them, that's how I want them to be. So this has to cook a little bit more. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna see what this looks like. I might put, I have like three or mushrooms left. I might put the rest in here. I might not. 
So we'll see. Um, let me just go get my drink, and then I'm going to come back and, and start breading the, um, the uh, flouring the chicken, because that's going to go in next. All right, people. So here's the flour. I'm just going to use the same bowl that I used to put, had the mushrooms in. It's not a big deal. Probably about two cups of flour. I don't like, I like to, you know, I don't want to overdo it with the flour, but I also don't like to, um, to have to start another flour because, um, it's just the pain having to, then have to, um, having to, um, what is it called? Like, you know, uh, uh, season it again. And this is one meal that I make. I do the eggs. I dip the eggs because um, the eggs hold the um, the flour in. You know, on. You know what I mean. So. I had to buy eggs at the store this week because my husband. Um, we get our eggs. Oh boy. We get our eggs now from um, my husband's co-worker who has chickens and um, because of the weather this week he didn't bring our eggs so um, I ended up having to buy eggs because um, I was completely I was had I actually thought I was out but I actually had two eggs left I found them in the refrigerator yesterday when I was cleaning cleaning out the refrigerator but um, so that's four eggs I'm going to start with four eggs and see if I need any more um, yeah, I'm not used to buying my eggs anymore, you know, I'm used to him, but, um, I needed eggs, so. Um, I got, it was a, actually a good deal at ShopRite, they had eggs for, uh, I got an 18 pack for, um, for, uh, like $5, it was on sale, so that was good. Because eggs have been high, even at Walmart they've been high. Alright, so I'm going to take these mushrooms out. And I'm going to put them in another bowl in one second. I'm going to get some milk for this. I don't think this freaking bowl is big enough. What, 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 what am I thinking? Oh, Linda, 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 Linda. Shut this off because I don't want the mushrooms to cook any more than they are. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with this whole. What I was thinking. Put a little bit of water in there to get all that egg out. And I'm going to do some milk. We're going to put the mushrooms in this bowl.
lost, lost that almost. All right, got the mushrooms in there. Let's get, all right, let's get mixed. Let that heat up, that heat up a little bit, that pan, and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put uh, butter in it. Where's the whisk? So I gotta season all this stuff up. And I didn't season any of the mushrooms, I just seized. I didn't season any of the mushrooms, I just realized that, that's all right. I'll season them. All right, let's do, come on people, let's do salt. Let's do, where is my pepper shaker? Oh, I'll use this one. Pepper. Okay. Let's do pepper in here. I don't have patience right now. <coughs> pepper. Salt. Got to flavor your flour, guys, and you have to fl 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 flavor your egg mixture. This is garlic. Okay. <coughs> is this onion? No, this is it. This is Italian seasoning. I only use a little drop of Italian seasoning in my um in my stuff in for more sal. Just a little hint of it. Onion. Put some parsley. I didn't get um, parsley when I went to Sam's. I forgot. I can't believe I didn't get parsley. I only got garlic and onion. I should have got parsley. I can get it at Walmart, the big one. Or I actually am going back to Sam's before, before Christmas because I have to get my shrimp there anyway. That's where I get my shrimp for the holiday, you know, for Christmas. Um, I get it at ShopRite too or Walmart, but this year I, um, I, I, I want to get Sam's. I think Sam's out of all the shrimp is the best. They're, they're all really good. I don't, like I said, shrimp is very, very, very affordable. It really is very affordable. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Aldi. This is thyme. I put a little thyme in here. And um, I just prefer the, 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 the flavor of the, the freshness of the shrimp from Sam's. I love thyme. Um... Then I do the uh, the others, but they're also they're all very 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 good. I told you that they're very very good. Just a little bit of oregano, not a lot of oregano. I don't know. I just I like it sometimes. All right, so let's do that. All right, let's mix the um, shit. Oh, I had the pan on for the chicken. I forgot to shut it. All right. Just smelling it to make sure it has enough flavor. People. Always making a big mess. What else is now? All right. Let's move this. Over here, I'm going to put, move this. Um, I got to decide what I'm making with this. I think I'm just going to make the instant rice. I don't freaking know. Right. This is how I do this, guys. 
Okay, this one thing about this meal is that there is a lot of butter in it. Okay, so there is a lot of butter in it. Right, it has a little bit, a couple of burnt bits in here from the onions and the garlic, but just try to get them out. Flour first, guys. Dip flour first. Then egg. Then egg. I double dip them because just I like doing that with this meal. It's a pain in the butt, but that's what I like when I when I make this. Um, when I make big portions of this, it's a lot of work. Like, but if I only make, if I don't make that much, it's okay. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work anyway, no matter how you make it, because it's just, that's the way, that's what the meal is, but. It's a little time consuming, but anything good is going to be time consuming. So I, like I said, I double dip in my flour and then I egg and then I flour. Take off the excess, okay? What is going on with this? Is it cooking or what's the story? No, you don't have to like, it doesn't have to be like extremely coated for the first time, for the first thing, for the first um, flour. Just get enough flour on it to, you know, and then egg it, and then you flour it again. Dr let it drip a little bit. Some of the excess stuff off. The only thing with this is that you have to watch, like you have to watch it kind of carefully. You can't really walk away from it or anything because the, 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 the chicken will get, it will get burnt. And I don't like it burnt. I don't like it crispy. We like it light. So you just gotta be vigilant, you gotta watch it. And um, it comes out really, really very, very tender. 
Um, the chicken always comes out really tender. So this is really the only time consuming part is the, um, I don't know if I put egg in this now, is the, um, is the chicken, you know. Uh, let me tell you something. I've made this for, um, I made this for a crowd, like a crowd of like 35, 40 people. My, my daughter, when she got married last October, um, I did all the cooking for the rehearsal dinner. And I made chicken marsal. I made um, a shrimp chicken alfredo. I made penne la vaca. Um, I made a few things. And um, so I made a lot of this, you know, one time. I've done it before for years anyway with my kids. When my kids had their um, par birthday parties, their christening, you know, their all that stuff. Um, I did all my own cooking. Always have. Julie's Sweet 16, I did every single, I cooked everything. She had a taco, a taco Sweet 16, like it was all taco stuff and other stuff too. And I did all the cooking for that. All right, so this is done. This part is done here. This is definitely done. Because it's going to cook a little bit more, guys, in the, um, in the Marcel. That's a little thick, so I'm going to leave that one. Oh, i got to add more butter. Yes, like I said, it's a lot of butter in this meal, in this dish. All right. Sorry about that, guys. The glare. I didn't realize I had such a glare on there. All right. By the time I get these in, those other ones I put in will have to be turned over.
And then after the chicken's done, um, we'll put everything, everything will go back into the, um, into the pan, the mushrooms and the chicken, and I'll put the, put the sauces in. All right, guys. Almost done. We only have one more, two more pieces after this. I think I made the right amount of, um, I think I, I used the, damn it, darn it. I used the right amount of um, egg and flour mixture. starting to really bother me. Alright, we got it. This is it right here. I gotta use the other thing because my hand is my hand is just my arm is not working properly right now. Get this one out of there. Move this one over. I'm gonna put another piece of, of butter and then we should be good with the butter situation. guys the last three pieces that what it is with the flour but the flour really like just tenderizes the the meat and it really makes it I don't know it does something to it
that's it right there. That's it. And make sure it doesn't burn. What am I going to make with it? And when I, um, when I take all the chicken out, I'm going to take this pan and I'm going to completely wipe it out of all that dark black stuff because I don't want that in my sauce guys a little bit of it is okay because it's flavor but you know I don't want um all that in there oh, all those you know leftover like breadcrumbs and stuff that are in there oh. <sighs> Almost done, another minute. Another minute. And then while I'm um, simmering the, the sauce with chicken and all that, I will um, decide whether I'm gonna do rice or, uh, or pasta. Now that's a piece for me. That's for the cook. I'm gonna let, let it cool because I'm sure it's gonna be really hot. I really should take this piece right here because that's, that's really more my size. <laughs> I think this is all good now. We didn't salt this. So, I'm gonna salt this a little bit. Let's shut this off. Okay. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. Guys, if you want to hear a really beautiful song, um, go to um, Elevation Worship on YouTube and put in I Trust in God by Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris Brown, I Trust in God, 
Elevation Worship by Chris Brown. It is the most beautiful song. He's got the most beautiful worship voice ever you ever heard in your life. It'll make you cry. Ow, ow. I was in the shower this morning and I was listening to that song and I was bawling my eyes out. Bawling my eyes out. It's just so emotional and it just hits me and I love it. Elevation Worship on YouTube. Elevation Worship on YouTube. I trust in God or just trust in God. It's amazing. Okay, so there is some little scrapies on here, but that's fine. These, is, this is what I want here. This is plenty. This is flavor right here, and it's gonna flavor. It's gonna flavor the sauce. Let's taste this. Um, all right, we gotta get butter. Um, I have a little bit of butter left, so I'm gonna do butter. It's really good, guys. It's really, really good. I'm going to put a little bit of minced garlic in there for this, for the sauce. chicken is so tender and I don't understand like how it comes out so tender at times when I make fried chicken cutlets and I fry them with breadcrumbs it doesn't come out as tender. Put the mushrooms back in. all this in here guys that's all flavor when I put water in here I'm gonna put the bouillon in here or just the water and put the bouillon in here it's gonna be all flavor mm. oh my goodness it's so freaking 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 good all right now look at all those mushrooms I put in I feel like it's not even a lot of mushrooms is going to be amazing. Even if I don't put it all in here. Alright. So let's open up. Let's do. Can you say it again? What? Alexa. Oh. Alexa, I didn't say anything. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. I think I said let's. All right, here's Marcel.
I have Marcel. We have Sherry. Okay. And then we have some white. I don't even know if I'm gonna put bullion in it, honestly. I really don't know. I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs something. If it needs something, I'll put a little more of the wines in. And um, bullion. But I'm gonna let this simmer on low. And I gotta decide what I'm doing with the side that I'm gonna make with it. What do you guys think I should do? I don't know. Mm. And at the end of it, I put a little bit of lemon. So yummy. You don't lose any of that flavor, guys. Mmm. It's so good. The chicken... Just by itself is amazing without even the sauce. Amazing. Mmm. So yummy. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest in it. I'm not going to do lemon. I'm just going to, and you, and you can pour lemon on your own. Um, just going to do some lemon zest. This gives it a nice little... fresh parsley that I bought for um, for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to put some of that in here. All right, guys, I'm just going to boil some rice. I'm going to season it up in this bowl. So I'm going to do two cups of rice, and I'm going to put it in the microwave. So two cups. I'm going to put some salt. Pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of the white wine in here. Just a little bit. <laughs> the sherry. Alright. I'm going to shut this and put the top on it. Because it's done. I don't want to overcook the chicken. Um, 
let's put a piece of butter and I'm going to put uh, some lemon zest in here as well. I have a little bit left on here that I could use. I even have more in there, actually. More lemons, you know what I mean? And I'm going to put a little bit, um, tiny little piece. Well, I'm going to put some garlic and onion powder in here. And then I'll put a, oops, and then I'll put a little piece, a little bit of bouillon. Just a tiny bit. I saw blood and he heard and he answered. I saw blood. I don't have a scripture right now, guys. If I have time before I say goodbye, I'll um I'll find one in the Bible and and read it to you guys. Um, but you hear me singing songs, those songs are from Elevation Worship. So some garlic powder, some onion powder. And then I'll just put a little bit of bouillon in there. Just a drop. Just to flavor it up. Oh, and I'll put some parsley into it after it's done. Yeah, I don't want to go crazy with the bouillon because, you know, bouillon is salty. All right, let's put this in there. Oh, I got to put the rice in here, too. This With this minute rice, you, um, you put the rice and the... Um, and the water in the microwave at the same time. <clears throat> Oops. I hate doing that, you know, because it's wet from the <laughs> from the water that I put in here. All right, give it a little mixola, five minutes, and it's done. It's gotta sit five minutes. And that's that. I always tape this up. I use, sometimes I put my rice in a container, but with the with the little critters back there, the mice that like to get into something, sometimes you have to cut, you have to, you can't leave anything open because they will find a way. And they're annoying. Ow. All right, that's done. Put this away. I always keep tape in my um in my little towel drawer because um of that reason to tape little things up or you know it's always pretty. What is this? It's always pretty um you know it's useful in the kitchen tape. Scotch tape. All right. Um, I'll be back, guys, in a minute. All right, guys, so here is my plate. Yummo, I have rice and a piece of chicken. I was gonna have a baked potato. All of a sudden, I felt like a baked potato, and then when I was making the rice, seasoning the rice, I'm like, oh no, I want the rice. So I'm having rice. Um, yeah, so I don't have a scripture tonight. Just, um, I'll do one tomorrow. But just, um, everybody just love each other and um, be kind. That's all I have to say for tonight. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. And I really appreciate it. Cooper's sitting up sleeping. And don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and creating, guys. I hope you've had a great Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.